have is a cooler air mass from the north and west that's going to be sinking in, hopefully not resulting in any lightning, but hopefully resulting in some rainfall for us. So our forecast is definitely calmer than our neighbors down at Disneyland or Southern California, as you were seeing that video there just a second ago. We're in for a nice cool down. In fact, we're really already in the midst of it as that cold front works its way right across the region. And you'll see the big picture set up here in a second that shows you both what's happening in Southern California and what's happening for us too. You can see the low cloud cover that's sitting right above the East Bay right now. Little bit of coastal fog resulting in some spots a drizzle just offshore right around Montero wouldn't be surprised if you've got a few wet spots out there. So what brought us that lightning yesterday? That's that low pressure system to our south. What we're looking at is this cold front sitting to our north that's going to impact us. So quite the variation of weather northern and southern California is in the midst of. We've got a much calmer forecast that is involving a little bit of breezy weather, a return of fog and a return of the cooler temperatures. Air quality is pretty good this morning. We do have pockets of very poor conditions remaining in the Central Valley. So quite a night and day picture, whether you're in the Bay Area or in the Central Valley. We've fortunately got the good air quality for our sake at least. 60s for your highs in SF today, 50s and 60s right along the coastline. Half Moon Bay at 64 degrees, while Burlingame at 74, much cooler up and down the peninsula. Yesterday it was upper 80s, today it's mid 70s. South Bay temperatures from yesterday's upper 80s to low 90s to today's upper 70s to low 80s. So a lot of us are actually in the midst of a 10 degree dip in temperatures. Livermore and Danville right at 80 degrees. Oakland, Berkeley and Richmond in the 60s. Our warmest spots today are Antioch and Vacaville and only at 81 degrees today. So feeling really good compared to the heat that we had been seeing. So tomorrow, another drop in temperatures, especially inland, that'll take us into the 70s. We're actually going to see mostly cloudy skies for Wednesday and Thursday. Best chances of rainfall has moved up a little bit to just that slight chance on Friday. Saturday morning could bring a couple of sprinkles before we clear out the rest of Fleet Week weekend. Actually, this is really good news for your Fleet Week festivities as we will see skies clearing out a little bit quicker and highs climbing back into the 70s for a lot of the Bay. Raina. John, thank you.